Hey guys, we're here in the Stimpak League playing Reina Headlock up against Near Earth Hub. Pretty reasonable opening hand. Um, Love to see that career fair early on. Set up the Earth Rise. Got some cards here. Don't know what they are. No ice coming out. So that's kind of freaky. Oh, there's one ice. Um, that's strange. I play the scrubber out and check. It's fairly expensive, but I don't want him to sneak an astro. Psychic field. Oh boy. Well. Good to know what we're up against. Oh, I missed the pad campaign. That's the one I wanted to kill, really. Okay, lucky find is good. Let's get rid of this pad. Scrubber is going to do some work this game, I think. The Vigil maybe not so much. He probably has so many things he can just spam out here that he's not going to end up with five cards. Whatever we can kill his economy, then maybe the Lamprey will do a lot of work. I actually probably have like a Gutenberg, probably just some pop-ups, that kind of thing. Upgrade going down here. What is this? This is Sansan. -san. I'm gonna check on this just to see. It's the new card is Snare, that's fine. If he wants to pay out for that, that's totally cool. To sand sand. Yeah, we can leave that because he now is completely dead broke. Let's take a look in here. He's got to have an agenda art at this point. There's the Astro. That's what we're looking for. I want to get a card. <clears throat> so, yeah, the Vigils, I think we probably don't need either one this game, but we'll see. It might be okay. Like, if he's poor enough, he has to click for credits. That could make it okay. Earthrise, yeah, that's probably good. Pop up, yep. I like to do some runs here with Scrubber Money, see if I can knock some stuff out. NAPD contract. Um, I think we actually don't want that. We'll just catch a release on that guy. I'd rather play the Earth Rise and start getting some cards. So thinking about the Xanadu, you got to consider how many ice in a res for the rest of the game. It could be a pretty small number. Okay, we don't see Parasite, which is too bad. Well, I still have a tag. I should keep, <laughs> I should pay attention to that. Um... I'll get rid of our tag. I have a really hard time in Octagon seeing my tags for some reason. It's just the way the interface is. So 
this was the sand sand if I remember correctly and then these two are new he didn't score this one diversified yeah that's really good for him is the vigil gonna be worth playing I I want to say it's not We should probably have kept that lucky fine, like we should have played it and not checked, but we did get an astro out of the deal, so there's that. He's gonna, oh, he's got shit from Sand Sand, good for him. So yeah, Vigil would not have been good here. Gets another astro. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna obviously kill this pop-up. And we can probably force a purge with this Lamprey. This is not gone. Get in there. NAPD contract again. You know what? I guess I'll take it. If only because he could eventually score it otherwise. Oh, diversified again. Brutal. To gain six. No. Yeah, this remote does not have a card installed inside it. Yeah, it's something that I really had misread the first time I saw it. We'll let him check it. Yeah. Oh, he's going to just... Yeah. Okay, so... He's going to get to res his ice. We're going to be sad. And it's probably just even a wrap rat or something. So what do we do here? Just let him res it. Play the Xanadu, hope it pays one more. I don't mind running here just to see if he's going to res this and then maybe he can't res his HQ. Gutenberg, yep. Well, we haven't drawn a KD ever, so I guess we could just float tags. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is a good combo. Uh, I think we jack out here, right? So our clone ship's pretty good. Well, yeah, it is pretty good. I'm gonna jack out here. Go and kill this. Scrapper is a hero again. He has one card in his hand. Presumably, it's something we don't care about. Who's a Crescentus? There's a lot of stuff out here. Oh, there was a beetle in there. What were the odds of that happening? That's... Huh. 
Maybe he top decked that, because I think I'll just randomly install whatever else. Pop up window is his last card. Interesting. So is he sneaking one out? Let's check the fresh one. Dedicated response team. Yeah, I'll kill that too. Huh. Still a tough call for him to float permanently or not. We are on six points, so probably just need to rush down the end of the game. Three bucks. Can he res us on three bucks? I kind of have a hunch that it's a wraparound, so I'm going to install the Xanadu so that he cannot res wraparound. Just pop up. Just go again. Pop up. If he wants to trash the Xanadu, it's going to cost him a lot in actions. Yeah, he just purges out the Lamprey. I mean, we could get the Lamprey out again with the clone ship. Mm. I think I just want to start checking R&D and floating. Uh, another tag. Oops. We take the Astro and win the game. So, kind of blundered through that a little bit. Not a lot of finesse. You can see it's kind of heavy tag decks. Our strategy of not having tags and just playing a ton of resources is kind of awkward. But in the end, like this kind of deck needs a lot of money to function. And when we're denying that money, it just doesn't work. Uh, the Scrubber was a hero too. I think you certainly want to mulligan for Scrubber. We probably got, what, eight credits out of Scrubber? Let's double check how much we got. Yeah, okay, well we, we used him four times, so we netted six credits for him. That's, you know, better than a sure gamble or a daily cast. But it's still not like incredible. It would have been worth more had we kept trashing his stuff. So you can, if you go, if the game goes long, you can usually get like 12, 14 credits out of a scrubber. But some matches don't want to do anything either, so it's, it's, an odd card, I would say. Because it is economy, but it's also very unreliable. It depends on your opponent whether it's going to be a lot of economy or not. The Vigil, we, we were definitely right to not install the Vigil because he's just spamming his remotes. He's never going to have five cards in hand. Probably keeping the Lucky Final would have been better than rushing in and trying to chase out any Astro. On the other hand, you don't want to let the Astro just go out the door. So checking your aggressively is good as long as you not die. You saw the Gutenberg dedicated response to the interaction. That's quite nice because with Theater Raven you can just jack out. With this you have the tag, so you have to like take the tag and then jack out, which is you know better for the for the corp. Kind of neat. Thanks for watching.